Good morning. Come on in here. Yep, I'm trying to figure it out. My microphone's working. There we have it. It's on. Can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me because I'm using my little, little, little pods. Anyway, it's my newest toy. Woke up at 4 a.m. Woke up at 4 a.m. Uh, uh, I don't know if Ben's on the show yet, but I think there are C batteries in the bottom drawer. <laughs> He's sending me messages. Anyway, he doesn't know that I'm on the show already. Uh, so, Patty, send Ben a text and tell them, tell him that there's C batteries uh, in the bottom drawer of the kitchen and are in a box in my bedroom under the bed. <laughs> so, it's perfectionism day. And it's not something that I love, but, you know, I got to talk about, I got to talk about something that happened last night. Roberts brought it to my attention this morning. Last night, our president, yes, he's our president. He's, those of us who live in the United States of America, Donald Trump is our president. He congratulated the Kansas City Chiefs. I was rooting for the Chiefs because I've been lost in Kansas City. <laughs> I drove to Kansas City one time. Kansas City, here I come. I drove there, got lost. Funny stories happened. Went to see the Hallmark people. It was wonderful. But the president congratulated the people of Missouri. Well, Kansas City is on the Missouri-Kansas state line. Half the city's in Kansas, half the city's in Missouri. Well, he made the mistake of just congratulating Kansas City, Missouri. A whole state of Missouri is proud of you, he said. Then he went back and he corrected it. And he said the whole state of Kansas. Well, people who support Kansas City Chiefs are from all over the, the middle of the country. Iowa, Arkansas, Oklahoma, all of them just all over. And he made a mistake. And guess what? He corrects his mistakes and goes on. We're scared to make mistakes. We're scared that somebody's going to, I mean, he's getting more criticism than you have ever seen about it. And it's just silly. And I get to say that because my last name's silly. But funny that people get so upset over stupid little things. Perfectionism, when we don't worry about what people think, when we let go of our perfectionism, our perfectionism goes away. And guess what goes away with that? Procrastination. You know, if it upset him, he would never tweet again. Well, one day he tweeted 142 times. It's okay to not be perfect. We don't have to be caught up in our perfectionism. We can do what we need to do to take care of things. Now, it's weekly home blessing day. Does it have to be perfect? No. Housework done incorrectly still blesses your family. But you got to you got to do something. So, set your timer for 2 minutes. I got my timer right here. I'm going to keep talking about perfectionism and you're going to go take the sheets off your bed. Yep. You're going to go take the sheets off your bed. And we don't have to be perfect. We don't have to be perfect. I am so blessed because the blood of Jesus Christ covers my sins. I would never be perfect without that. He perfects me because his blood overshadows that. Totally. So I am blessed to have Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. 
because it lets go of me trying to be perfect. Yeah, I make mistakes and I, I repent of those mistakes. I tell you, I tell the world, I tell the Lord, I repent of those mistakes. I don't have to be perfect. I just have to keep taking one step after another. And those steps will get me to my ultimate goal of, of a life ever after with my Heavenly Father. So I'm going to preach it. And we're going to let go of our perfectionism. And we're going to learn that, you know, it's okay to make mistakes. It's not, it's not going to kill us. You know, just because we make mistakes doesn't mean our coffee tastes any different, as Scott Adams says. Things don't change because we've made a little mistake. But we got to learn to slow down. We got to learn to take each step at a time and do what we can to make things just a little bit better. It's progress. We're making progress in our homes, not perfection. That, that timed up. Okay, so we got it. Got our sheets changed. It pulled off the bed. Now get them in the washing machine. Now I'm going to keep talking. I'm going to keep talking because that's what I do best. That's my talent. God gave me a talent. He gave me a talent to write. He gave me a talent to speak and not be embarrassed and not have stage fright. I've never had stage fright in my life. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. And that's my talent. Those are my talents. And common sense. Common sense is another one of my talents. So Scott Adams talks about a talent stack. Uh, and we're going to develop those talents. So I'm going to roll my little dice. I've got six tiles in my little game. See my game board? I got all these tiles. I'm going to turn them all over so I can't see them. I may... Robert made me the tiles, and I made the game. And y'all play it with me every week, most weeks. So, I'm going to roll the dice right here. You can see, you can see me roll it, because it's a number five. Number five. Let me pull number five. I got number five right here. Right here is number five. Grab your mop. Grab your mop. Now, we have a new mop, y'all. We have a new mop. But grab your mop. My mop's over there. Get it wet. You don't have to sweep ahead of time. That's that's your perfectionism, wanting you to sweep ahead of time before you mop. Because that's how your mama taught you to do it. But guess what? Our microfiber mop, mop cloth really gets things. So, I'm setting the timer for two minutes. And I'm going to keep talking about mopping and perfectionism. With When we mop, before, we would get down on our hands and knees, scoot along on our butts to get our floors sp spick and span. In fact, there was a product called spick and span. And we don't have to be that way. Guess what? You get your mop wet, get your mop wet, and you run it up and down the floor as fast as you can go. As fast as you can go. Like you're mowing the yard. Lickety split. Bam. Mop in the middles. And, you know, if you spill something, wipe it up. Don't let it sit there. Wipe it up. And you can do it by just throwing your dirty dish towel down and wiping it up. Or getting a paper towel. Wipe it up. But you can make your home shine like nobody's business, if you will just do something and let go of your perfectionism. How many of you already said this morning, I don't have time? I don't have time to mop. Yeah, you got two minutes. You got two minutes. You got two minutes. Two minutes. It's all it takes. We're doing a week, we're doing our weekly home blessing and we are we are shining our sinks. We're, we're mopping our floors. 
we're, we're going to take care of the things that make our home look messy. And when you get through, you, you would have spent 15 minutes blessing your home. What an amazing 15 minutes this is going to be. So we're down to six seconds. Put your mop cloth away. Look at this. Ready? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll the dice one more time. Put that stack right there. We're looking for something other than a five. We got a four. And number four, see the four? Four. Number four is magazines. Declutter magazines. Now, we get piles of stuff in the mail every day. If you're not decluttering it as it comes in, I'm going to set the timer. Two minutes. This is the easiest one we've got. This is the easiest one we have. So let's gather up those magazines and catalogs that are on our hotspot, are piled up in the corner by your chair, on your nightstand. Go gather up all the magazines and let's, let's declutter them. Let's throw them away, I'll put them in the recycle bin, go take them to the car if that's what you need to do and get them you know, off your hotspots. Somebody, instead of doing magazines, she cleans her pet dishes. You know, when you don't have very much, uh, you don't, don't fill up your dishwasher all the way, throw some pet dishes in there. Throw some canisters you need to wash. In fact, that, I think that's what I'll do this morning, do a little detailed cleaning in my kitchen. Because that's when I clean my canisters. The pet dishes is when it's that time. So we've got another... 52 seconds to declutter magazines. And, and if you don't have magazines, just clear off a hot spot with the mail. Just start getting rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of the stuff on that hot spot. Because it's our perfectionism that says we don't have time to do that. Bed is made and the dishwasher running. That's a good feeling. That's a real good feeling. But our perfectionism is what holds us back from doing a weekly home blessing hour, our, our 15 minutes. You can either do each task for 10 minutes or you can do it in two minutes. I choose to do it in two minutes because we can get it done quickly. We can get it done fast here and have fun with it and have fun together. What better way than having fun with your friends? Okay. We're gonna roll our dice again. And if you've got a dice, you can make your own little tiles or little little pieces of paper. It doesn't have to be a tile. That's a four. We don't need another four. That's a three. Number three. I have the number three right here. We're going to grab our purple rags. Where's my purple rag? Here's my purple rag. Okay. It's in my little package. So, get your purple rag, get a wet one and a dry one. And we're gonna do our windows and doors and our mirrors. So ready, set, go. You know, people think they have to clean the whole door or the whole window or the whole mirror. You don't, you just have to clean the spots, especially the dental floss on runs on your bathroom mirror. And that's a good thing. Your, your dentist is going to be happy if you're, if you're flossing your teeth. So dental, get the wet one and the dry one. Go with the wet one and then wipe it. Wax on, wax off if you remember those movies. And get your windows and doors clean. It doesn't take, doesn't take long. Run through the house and do it quickly. As fast as you can. And this is what makes it fun. Because... We're, we're not running like crazy people, but we're getting things done. And we're letting go of our perfectionism so that our house is going to be blessed. And blessing our home is much better than doing chores. We hate to do chores. That sounds like too much work. My neck. Oh, I don't know why it does that. I guess I talk with my hands. 
maybe I just pull it in close. And it's even more crooked. <laughs> That's my perfectionism. I own it. I'm not going to beat myself up about it because it's just who I am. I'm looking at myself in the camera and I, I don't want a crooked neckline. But that's my perfectionism and I get to laugh about it. I get to laugh about it. And I got this one little curl right here. But guess what I have right here? I have a hairbrush. There we go. That's much better. Putting the hairbrush back where it belongs. And that's another thing. I'm going to, the timer's going to stop in five seconds. Put down your purple rags. Lay them out to dry. Okay. We're going to roll the dice one more time. We got number two. Let's see what number two is. This is a good one. Run around the house and gather up all your trash and put trash bags back in your trash cans. That's the important part. So I'm setting the timer. So many times we, we get caught up in our perfectionism that we just can't, we can't, we're paralyzed. We're paralyzed. See if that works any better. Uh, we're paralyzed with our perfectionism. We don't handle things. Somebody saying, oh, the Ohio method. Well, one thing we've got to do is we've got to learn to play games with ourselves. I got an email a while ago, and I am so thankful Michael has gotten my email on my new computer. It makes me happy. Oh, boy, does it make me happy. It's been, I, I felt like I've been disconnected from all of you because I had to get out my big computer and put it on my lap, and it was really big. Uh, but in our perfectionism, we lose things because we tell ourselves we don't have time to put it where it belongs. So I got an email a while ago from a lady who had lost her driver's license. She went to the grocery store, she had her checkbook, but you have to have your driver's license to write a check. And she didn't have her driver's license with her. And she didn't know where it was. She had no clue. But she talked to store manager. She says it helps to be older. <laughs> and she, she talked to the store manager and letting her go ahead go, go ahead and get in the groceries. And it was great. Well, I would take a picture of my driver's license and have it in a section on my phone. So I always would have it with me, which I have done. But I have a place for my driver's license in my wallet. And I keep my wallet in my hand until... They're through with my driver's license, and then I put it back where it belongs. I, it's the same way with my credit cards. If I get a credit card out, I'm going to put it back where it belongs. I'm going to put it back where it belongs. So, we got two more. I'm going to roll the dice. We've already done number four. Let's see how many times it takes. Number three, we've done number three. We need a one or a six. That's a five. Two. Four. It's another five. We got a one. We got a winner. Number one. Let's get, get your vacuum cleaner out. If you don't want to use your vacuum cleaner, get your carpet sweeper out. And let's let's do our floors. Now, right now, the carpet sweeper is $10 off. We don't usually make it $10 off, but get your carpet sweeper right now. Get it ordered. I'm setting the timer for two minutes. Just the middle. So, let's see, our, in our perfectionism, we were told from the day we were born, if you can't do it right, don't do it at all. Well, we listened to that. We didn't listen to anything else our parents say. Uh, Ben's here. Hey, Ben. <sighs> Putting it in your phone. You can set up an ice section in your phone where you can get to it. Um, or you can set up a, a, um, what is it? An album in your pictures for ice stuff. Or, 
or stuff that's spiritual to you. I have a, a section like that. Uh, the main thing is you got to let go of your perfectionism. If we'll just do the middles, the floors are going to look good. And when we do our detailed cleaning in that area, which we're in zone one today, tomorrow we'll be in zone two. We're in zone one today. Zone one. Now, letting go of our perfectionism and doing just the middles is going to make your living room and your front room and your kitchen. Now, it's nothing work good on floors, but do your, do your throw rugs. We all got throw rugs in our kitchen. And let's get our throw rugs done. Robert said yesterday, he said, I don't know where all this dirt comes from because we make the Roomba go every day. And when you make it go every day, it gets a lot of dirt and dust. He says, we don't track that much stuff in, and the dogs and cats don't track that much stuff in. And I said, well, evidently it does. They do, and we do. So <laughs> having the Roomba going every day, it really keeps your floors looking good. But if you don't have a Roomba, you can use your, your mop as a dust mop. That's what I did before. And when I got sick last April, Robert said we needed a Roomba because I couldn't do the floors every day. Okay, we need a six. There's the six. I'm going to roll the six. It's not a six. It's a three. It's a two. It's a four. It's another three. Four. What's going on here? I'm just going to have to say, we're going to do number six. Oh, this is my favorite. Grab your feather duster, y'all. Feather duster right here. Get your feather duster. And that's run around the house. I have the cheap one. The, most, the least expensive Roomba. <laughs> the least expensive. Because I didn't know if I was going to like it. Uh, grab your feather duster. We're going to set our timer for two minutes, and we're going to run around our house while I talk about perfectionism and dusting. Now, here's the deal. People think that feather dusters don't pick up dust. Well, I know more about ostrich feather dusters than anybody you know. And let me tell you about them. I'm going to put it right up here in front of you. Look at that feather. Look how many little things are on that feather. Each little frond has another thousand little feathers on it. And each one of those collects a little bit of dust. A little bit of dust. So run around the house and feather dust every flat surface in your home as fast as you can. I, was, I told Ben the other day, I know more about ostrich feathers than you could ever. These are called floss feathers. They come under the arm of, under the wing of the ostrich. And it's just, it's, it's funny. It's funny. But we have cornered the market on them. We're to the point now that we've got to have ostrich feathers made out of some different colored feathers. And Maybe we'll do a, a, a feather duster that is um, a natural feather duster, an all natural. Because sometimes the feathers are dyed, and the purple ones are dyed. They don't come purple ostriches. That would be funny. That would be so funny, having purple ostriches. But we have purple feathers in our dusters. and But run around the house and feather dust as fast as you possibly can. And you'll never have to see dust again. Nobody will ever be able to write today's date in your dust. They're not going to be able to write, dust me. Look at that. We have gotten through Weekly Home Blessing in 25 minutes. And I've got to run my mouth. And there's Justin and Ben talking. Look at this. We've got all... Now... It's up to you to put your sheets back on your bed. It's up to you to get that done. But let's get some things done. Today. It's going to be a beautiful day in our neighborhood. I love you all. Let's, you know, today's baby step 
our today's back to basic is letting go of our perfectionism and recognizing it in ourselves, you know? So I recognize my perfectionism. When, when my shirt gets crooked, it drives me nuts. That's my perfectionism. But guess what? I'm wearing it. I can straighten it out. I don't notice it when I'm not on camera, ever. I love you all. And I'll see you at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock for tea time. If you haven't gotten your tea yet, you need to get it. Now, we have the... Um, the Fly Lady Complete Cleaning Package is going away. It's going away. And it will be ending on February the 14th. February the 14th. Now, if, if you've been wanting this for a long time, tell your significant other, your husband, to get it. Because it's going away for Valentine's Day. It's going away. And <laughs> my shirt is too big, but it's comfy. It's comfy and it's a dress shirt. And I really don't, I haven't worn it very much. So I wore it last night to Leanne's house. And she liked it. So I thought I'd put it back on again today. So let's let go of our perfectionism. Let's see it and recognize it when it happens. When it happens. And you're going to be so much happier. You really are. But that complete cleaning kit, get, clean, complete clean, cleaning package, the FCC pack, is going away. It's $75 off right now. It has everything you could possibly want. And, you know, the best Valentine's gift, you can give your husband is to tell him what you want for Valentine's Day. Now, he may have to add a single rose and a little bitty box of candy to make you happy, but that's okay. That's okay. Because the Fly Lady Complete Cleaning Package is the gift that you're going to use. You're, every time you use it, you're going to say, my husband loves me because he got me what I wanted for Valentine's Day. He got me what I wanted for Valentine's Day. Because I told him I didn't keep it a secret. We don't need to keep secrets. We need to tell people what we want. Uh, somebody's getting cow, cowgirl boots. How cool is that? Tell them what you want. And it is going to be wonderful. So we got half price sale on the multi wand. Get your Chaos to Clean book. You all need to start every... This is a great book for jumping back on the wagon, even though I don't think there's a Fly Lady wagon. And get your calendars. If you haven't gotten your calendar yet, get it ordered. Get it ordered and use coupon code BACK2BASICS. BACK2BASICS number two basics. Back number two basics with an S. I'll see you at 3 o'clock. You did 2,000 steps while watching. Good, good job. Love y'all. See you later. Well, it's not working.